Hi, you're about to learn all about the PathDriver for Math student tests. The activities in the student tests are timed. They range in length from one to four minutes. Students try to correctly answer as many questions as they can before time runs out. Even though the student screens look very simple and are easy to use, there is a lot of research that supported the development of these tests. All of the activities that are part of the PathDriver for Math student tests have been proven to be strong predictors of math ability and together show how well a student understands foundational math concepts. Now let's take a look at snippets of all the activities in all the student tests to see the types of problems that students at each grade range will see. Here is the kindergarten test, which is designed to look more fun and game-like. The two activities that make up the test are counting and comparison, two strong indicators of early number sense development. Researchers have found these tasks can predict how successful kindergarten students will be when they reach grade five. What we're looking at now is the counting activity or game, which is called count the stars. The student counts the number of stars they see and uses the mouse to click on the corresponding number below. The second kindergarten activity, or game, is called Which is More? The student sees two sets of objects and chooses which set has more by using the mouse to click on it. For all the grades beyond kindergarten, the tests include three activities, comparison, computation, and estimation. The problems provided at each level have a range in difficulty so that there will be a challenge at every grade. In the comparison activity, which is similar to the kindergarten comparison activity, Students are presented with two numbers and have to choose which number is greater by pressing keys on the keyboard. At the kindergarten level, the comparison activity used pictures. At grades one to two, students compare one digit and two digit whole numbers. At grades three to five, students compare three digit numbers as well as addition and subtraction expressions. At grades six and up, students compare four digit numbers, addition and subtraction expressions, and then fractions and decimals are added. The second activity is computation. Fluency with basic math facts is essential to mastery of higher order math skills. So we are testing students' fluency with math facts here and capturing good information about how a student does in math in general. In this computation activity, students type in their answer using the keyboard and then press enter on the keyboard to submit their answer. At grades one to two, students are presented with addition and subtraction facts. The grades three to five tests include basic facts in addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And at grades six and up, students are presented with fractions problems. Research tells us that a student's ability to understand and work with fractions can be predictive of how they will do in algebra. The third and final activity in the grades one to 10 tests is estimation. Students are presented with a number line and a target number. They drag and drop the orange balloon to the point on the number line where they think the target number goes. The reliability and validity of estimation tasks for general outcome measures have been established over the years by many researchers. In the estimation activity, the number line range changes as you go up the grade levels. In the grades one to two test, what we're looking at now, the range of the number line is from zero to 100. At grades three to five, the range is from zero to 1,000. And at grades six and beyond, the number line ranges from zero to five, and all the numbers to be placed are fractions. One very important point is that the test questions for this activity and for all activities are algorithmically generated. That means that students see the same types of questions each time they take a test, but they don't see exactly the same questions every time. So that is what the PathDriver for Math student tests look like. The program automatically scores all questions and weights them depending on varying difficulty levels. There's a complex scoring algorithm that works in the background and saves teachers from the burden of manual scoring. The management system then takes those program-generated total scores and presents student results in many useful ways. Thanks for listening to this PathDriver for Math webinar and learning all about the PathDriver for Math student tests.